All right, folks, we've got some good news. Um, it's not the best news ever, but I'll take anything we can get. So voters living in 180 different countries who are Americans just participated in the Democratic Party primary. And even though there weren't that much delegates to be awarded, Bernie Sanders still won and he won overwhelmingly. So as Zach Montalero of Politico reports, Sanders won 58% of the vote, which included just under 40,000 Americans living abroad. And Sanders will be awarded nine delegates to the National Convention over the summer, according to the release from Democrats Abroad. Biden won 23% of the vote and will take home four delegates. Turnout was up 15% over 2016, Democrats Abroad said for the group's largest recorded primary. In-person voting took place from March 3rd through March 10th at sites around the world. Voters could also submit electronic ballots. Americans living in the United Kingdom accounted for the most voters, 5,689, with Germany, Canada, France, and Mexico rounding out the top five. So there are two things I want to talk about. Why this is good news and may be a sign of what's to come, and why this might not necessarily matter too much, even if it is good news. So the first thing is that this is good news because even though the bar was low, we were just kind of looking for a sign of life. Like, is there anyone left who's voting in this primary that isn't willing to just suck it up and vote for Joe Biden? Are we just going to coordinate him or are we still going to make our voices heard? And voters overwhelmingly said, no, I support Bernie Sanders. I think that the vision that he is, you know, um, Putting forward, it's the vision that I agree with the most, and I don't care that Joe Biden is currently the front runner. I'm going to support Bernie Sanders, and it doesn't matter that Beto O'Rourke and Kamala Harris and uh, Pete Buttigieg and Amy Klobuchar all fell in line and backed Biden. I support Bernie Sanders. So this is this is good news. But <laughs> to um, put the brakes on the optimism just a little bit, um, on one hand, it's not. It may not matter because there aren't that much delegates that are going to be awarded. So it's certainly not enough to change the trajectory of this primary. Bernie gets nine delegates, Biden gets four, right? Now, could it be, you know, a sign that maybe there's this shift in momentum? Maybe Bernie is gaining? That's certainly possible. Um, but I will say that Bernie Sanders was kind of poised to win Democrats abroad, because if you are living in the United Kingdom, Germany, France, you already are experiencing firsthand some of the policies that Bernie Sanders is proposing, right? So they have socialized medicine in the UK. What Bernie Sanders is asking for is socialized insurance. So it's not even as extreme. So of course, if you're living in the UK and you have any experience firsthand with their national health system, you're going to obviously realize that what Bernie Sanders is proposing is superior to Biden's vision of a public option, I guess. He proposed it before, but we didn't get that. I mean, that's obvious, right? Bernie Sanders actually has policies that are not radical because they've been implemented throughout the world. But a problem with this is this sample of voters, Democrats abroad, they're likely not representative of Democrats living here at home. Because if you have exposure to these types of social democratic policies, then they're less, you know, they're they're less foreign to you, for lack of a better word. So you're familiar with them. They don't seem extreme. So, you know, people at home, they might still kind of just fall in line because momentum is a difficult thing to shift. And, you know, it's going to be that much more tough for us to get a swing in momentum because of COVID-19. Like, Bernie Sanders is currently doing all of these phenomenal things. He's holding almost daily town halls where people can ask questions to him and healthcare professionals or other policymakers. He had his entire um, base raise $2 million for corona relief efforts. I mean, he's doing so much, but they're ignoring it. And they're focusing on coronavirus, which they should be. But when they bring in the political aspect, they talk about Donald Trump or Andrew Cuomo. So, I mean, it, it's tough to get that that switch to flip. So it goes from Biden to Bernie in terms of momentum. But this is good news. And whenever there's good news in dark times, I think we should grab onto it and hold on to it for as long as we possibly can. Because... We need it right now. 
I'm not saying that this is a sign of things to come, but, you know, does it give me a little bit of hope? A little bit. Not too much, but a little bit. Overall, I'm still very cynical, uh, very pessimistic, because our future is uncertain. I don't know what's going to happen. We have Donald Trump, who is completely incapable of being a leader, and then we have Joe Biden, who's feckless and mostly absent. Bernie was our chance to really not just change the country, but save the world. And people in this primary, they decided to go for Joe Biden. Because the media is very effective at brainwashing people. But I don't have to get into that because this is supposed to be a good news video. So I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to self-censor and we'll just say congratulations, Bernie, for winning this.